Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today's day number 126 after having gastric bypass surgery. Today I made myself some hot sauce! And no, it's not the wimpy hot sauce either. Um, no, I don't have a highest tolerance as my stepdad and my brother does. They can do ghost pepper. I can't do that, but you know. Um, I like to add a few Serranos in mine. Um, had a couple chips to go with it, just regular chips. Now, I had like maybe just two of them, but that's all... I was able to have but the sauce tastes so good and it's good for you too because it has hot peppers in it it's good for your metabolism you know it has a little bit of garlic some onions cilantro and it's mostly tomato so you know it's good for you it's a healthy little snack it's vegan you know there's no animal products in it it's great it tastes really good it's really really refreshing uh speaking of refreshing so i have a couple more job interviews coming up um they're around the job areas that I'm looking for with my degree, so let's hope something comes out of it. I'm um, just here doing some homework, not too much going on. It's the middle of the afternoon. It's actually really nice out. It's 79, well, it's supposed to get to 79 degrees, and that's wonderful. Now, I'm starting to think earlier today, oh, it's going to be getting really hot eventually, but then I remind myself, but I'm not as heavy as I used to be. Like, I'm getting close to 80 pounds being lost, so... You know, the less weight you have on you, the less hot you're going to be. Because let's just be honest, when you're outside, it's already hot enough when you're skinny. You know, but when you're overweight, walking around, doing yard work, <clears throat> doing outdoor activities, you know, whatever. Even being at the pool, you are burning, you're sweating, and everybody knows it. And then you get self-conscious because you think, like, I'm sweaty. Can somebody see that? If I stretch, is somebody going to see the sweat under my arms? Do I smell? Because, you know, when you sweat a lot and you are overweight let's just be honest you know you tend to sometimes have a bit of an odor let's just be honest you know and I am being honest because you know I've been overweight all my life these things have happened but I remind myself you know hey this is going to be a new summer you know you're not going to be at your complete goal but hey once summer gets here I know I'm going to be over halfway done so I am not even stressing about it I'm going to look good and then next summer I'm going to look my best and I'm not going to let anybody or anything get in my way but that's all I really have going on. I'm just going to be here doing homework. I was thinking once I get to a thousand subscribers, I can go live and I could chat with you guys here live. It would be great. I would love to do that with you guys. I just got done making a cooking video a few days ago. I hope you guys have seen it. If you guys have any other ideas that I could try to make. That would be great. I think the next thing I'm going to do is a beverage. This little beverage that I tried in Colorado for the first time. It was a few years ago. It was so good. I came home and made it myself and it was awesome. It wasn't as good as the one in Colorado, but it was pretty close. Um, if you're interested, let me know. I think after that, I think I'm going to make my tomato bisque. I'm going to start a new one that says soups. I'm just kind of in a good mood because it's really nice outside. It's not cold. I mean, it's not as warm as I'd like it to be, but it's a lot warmer than it has been. And because of that, we're going to have a, probably a few more days of it being freezing again. That's just how our weather is. Our weather is on its period right now. When it's going from winter to spring, it, it just, the hormones of the weather is all jacked up. <laughs> it's just crazy. Um, that's all I have today. Um, that's probably it for the food today. Just a couple chips. Um, it really filled me up, but it just tasted good. It was really refreshing. That tomato and garlic taste was awesome. I hope you guys are going to be all right. Take care of yourselves and be an inspiration to other people because we never know. Somebody might be smiling, but on the inside, they're running against the wall head first. Um, they're tangled up in their sheets and they're freaking out and they're locking themselves in the closet, you know reach out, call people, ask them how they're doing. Even something like a simple five minute conversation can really help somebody stay out. You know, and a lot of the times the people that we don't really worry about the most because we think they're doing all right. Sometimes it's them. Sometimes it's them people. Call somebody, talk to people, go talk to a stranger if you need to do something. Be a light in somebody's darkness. Bye.